Well, uh, hi there. Yes, uh, welcome to the channel. My name is Matt, and welcome to a very, very expensive purchase. <laughs> yes, I am finally trying out VR. Now, this is interesting because this is the first time I've ever tried out VR. I've never done any of those weird kind of um, go to the mall and try out like those weird VR headset kind of rooms or whatever. This is literally the first time that I've ever put on a VR headset, and let's go through this together. Instead of starting out and going straight into a car and getting very motion sick and, that's, and all that fun stuff, let's start out with going to the garage and see if we can do VR showroom. Whoa! This is... Definitely interesting. Well, this is like I can tell that I am wearing a VR headset, sure. But it's just surreal to see like 3D space out in front of me. And it's so cool to see like to see this right here like holy crap like i i could almost just reach out and touch it this is just <laughs> surreal wow and then the wheels can i can i lower myself nope there we go here we go <laughs> what the hell and then, and then you can see down here. You can see the mesh. <laughs> this is the coolest damn thing. And you can see all these bolts. Wow. I am seriously impressed. So then I wonder if we can go over to... The interior. Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> this is insane. I know on video it's not going to look all that great, but this is. Okay, be careful of that. <laughs> So part of this, why I'm so, oh, I can see these buttons over here. What are these? Oh, all right. So let's, uh, enough of that. Um, so here's what we're going to do. Let's actually do a race here in Grand Valley Highway. I want to be able to race a Miata. My favorite car ever is a Miata. Uh, but the problem is, is that they're all right hand drive, so it's going to ruin the immersion a little bit. So let's do the BMW Z8. And let's see how this goes. Oh, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hold on. Um, I... Uh, <laughs> Holy sh what is this? Um, uh, I am, um, I understand the appeal of VR all of a sudden, <laughs> um, wow, uh, uh. okay, so yeah, this is weird, not having the right, um, seating configuration with my arms and tracking on all the rest of that um but jesus okay um let's try this again okay so we've got that out of the way so let's see if we can actually drive a car so third gear okay this is <laughs> I under okay this is the weirdest sensation I am 
like moving and like my brain is telling me that I, my center of gravity should be shifting as I'm going around a corner but I'm sitting still um I think I might just kind of do a little bit of this to to help with it oh my god uh <laughs> Yes, I'm feeling a little bit cold because I'm in a dark basement. I, I'm in freaking California right now in the middle of this hilly ocean seaside. Oh my god. All right. All right. Fourth try. Here we go. Let's see if we can try to hang out with these guys. Oh! See if we can dive up on not the inside. Up into third gear. Come around. Nope. So I mean, yes. I'll I'll be the first to admit. The graphics fidelity from where I first started gaming with PlayStation 1 is absolutely crazy to see in a VR headset. But there are some tall tale signs of what is like video game and what isn't. So when you come up close to some of these cars up here, you can kind of tell like that the just um the reflections are at like 30 frames a second. And you can kind of tell, because we are in a race with so many other different cars and so many other, like, things going on, that the graphics fidelity of each car is okay. And you can see a little bit of anti-aliasing going on. But this is crazy for immersion like I have never seen anything like this before and just being able to watch cars go by that closely wow whoa look at him go whoa 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 all right, for our next race, I want to see how this goes. I want to do a race car at night in rain and might as well do Tokyo Expressway. I am so concerned. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um... Oh, no! Nope! Ugh. That... Okay, so rain isn't too bad. Alright, so... First and foremost... I mean, this is cool, I'll admit, but with the smoke spray, you can see how pixelated it is, so... You can definitely tell it's a little bit of a video game, unfortunately. I'll admit, I'm a little bit jaded by the fact that... The graphics are good but it's very definitely you can tell that the thing like the buildings in the distance are pretty flat and the cars themselves are they're decent but when you get close to them and you smack into them you get that feeling that they're flat as well so I think we still have a little ways to go when it comes to this stuff but I mean this is this is not too bad but man I am so disappointed with uh, the basic field of view options because when you get into VR you can actually like use your mirrors which is really nice because the amount of times that like I because all your you're like stuck to like this and you can't like look up to your top mirror much and you can't even really see the left mirror much 
So being able to, like, kind of just glance over one way or another to see who's coming up and being able... I still need to remember to use the heads-up display in, like, the middle of the console because, like, I'm just so worried about the racing itself and all the other stuff. I just haven't had a moment to really check on it much. Oh! Oh, whoa, look at that. Wow. That's fun. Oh! Whoa, 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 hello. Oh, that is a scary sight to see them all coming. Oh, no. Oh, oh, ouch. All right, and for our last race, we are going to go into the pitch, pitch black here. And because I am stupid enough, we're going to do the Red Bull on a still full stomach. Whoa, okay. Um, wow. And look at those sparks. Christ. And this car is so low, it's like I'm dragging on the floor. Wow. Jeez, and the stars and this... Whoa. This is nuts. You know, for being quote-unquote pitch black, this isn't too bad. There's still quite a lot of floodlights around and that there isn't much in the cockpit anyway eh, okay fair cool nope well, hit in the wall there <laughs> yeah all right i think i finally get it watching people enjoy vr is a very different experience than like doing it yourself because it's just when you look at somebody else enjoying VR, you're looking at it through a two-dimensional screen, and VR isn't the two-dimensional screen. It's being able to put yourself in the middle of a world and being able to look around, you know? So I understand that there's some people that will get like motion sick from this and people like will just have medical issues that will prevent them from enjoying it for a long time but I genuinely think that everybody at some point needs to try VR at least try it cause this is crazy again you, like you can tell that you're wearing like a headset because you're you've got that kind of vignette effect just like right around your eyes but once you kind of ignore that being able to like look at the wheel that's in front of you whoa 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 I've always wanted to buy like wheels for my sim rig that I've got little screens on it that tell all sorts of like information about what's going on so being able to have that in front of me here right now is making me incredibly excited look at all those sparks and the stars up ahead up above and then that helicopter up over there and then we can see the start of the, the start finish straight with all those brilliant lights up here. God damn, this is just fantastic. <sighs> wow. I um I don't know what I was gonna I don't know what I was gonna expect. But it was not that. <laughs> it's I, I'm conflicted because being able to put yourself into the car, into the world is 
genuinely game changing just being able to like instinctively look in your mirrors and look for the apexes and being able to see the other cars as you go by that's amazing it's still very evident though that you're playing a video game i mean like the graphics quality is as good as it, we can get it at the moment but it's not anything like seriously immersive because this game is cross-gen it does kind of feel like you're playing a playstation 4 game but you know for the consistency of the frame rate and what polyphony were able to do to mask over um like some of the graphics quality like the foveated rendering like whenever i just look in an area i would just see pretty decent quality graphics and the rest of the screen i wouldn't even notice so i think whoever thought of that was really thinking because that was that's crazy what they've been able to pull off with that um I'm going to keep trying it, though. I, I was going to say at the beginning of the video, it's that I got a really good deal on it from Best Buy, and, you know, if I didn't like it, I'd try to get my money back or whatever, but I think... I think I will keep it. I won't play it with it frequently, but I think it is important that people at least get to try it out, especially in, like, a sim rig setup, because having the wheel and the... I'm doing that BMW Z8 on Grand Valley Highway with the shifter that was absolutely freaking nuts so I am seriously impressed I have wow 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 was that cool thank you all for watching I know this is going to be a very unique and very fun episode so for those of you who have tried out VR before uh, let me know in the comments down be below if you know if you've enjoyed it if you've had issues with it um, if you've had long-lasting effects of, like, motion sickness, or if you're able to get over it pretty quickly, let me know all of your guys' thoughts down below. If Even if, like, you've enjoyed Gran Turismo 7 in VR, or if, like, you're still waiting for, like, the newer versions so we can get better graphics and less cumbersome VR units. I don't know. Just tell me anything that's on your own mind in the comment section down below. Of course, if you enjoyed watching it, um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And man, oh man, oh man... Please, just try out VR. Just try it. If you don't like it, you're prerogative, but especially in a racing situation, that was a lot of fun. So, again, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day today. Take care. Bye.